Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the React JS tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to add and remove form elements dynamically in a React JS with a class component. And here we got the final output of our component. How to add remove form elements dynamically in a React JS. Let's click add controls. Notice here the controls are adding with a text box and one button control. If I click, see elements are removed. I can able to add controls dynamically and remove dynamically in React.js application. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I am using Visual Studio Code to create a React.js application. Just for the time saving, I have already created one application which is chkml insert in this folder. Let me expand my application, the project, and notice in this project there is a source folder. All my React.js component I am creating in this source folder only. Let's create one more React.js CS fi JS file in the source folder. Right click the mouse, new file, and the file name I am giving dynamically, dynamically, dynamically controls .js file. And here we got our dynamically controls .js file. In React.js, there are two types of components. One is class component and the second one is a functional component. Here in this example, I am using class component. Before creating a class, first we must import the React class from the React library. Let's import that one. Import React from React library. After that, I am defining one class with my project file name dynamically controls. Make sure that uh, the spelling is correct. We must add exactly our file name. And after that, I am extends react dot component. It's not core element, it's a component. And after adding the curly brackets, let's uh, exp uh, export export default dynamically controls now every class component contains a render method so let's add one render method inside this render method I want to render the return on the browser return method and the return method contains the output which displays the HTML elements on the browser. If you want to add more than one element, we need to add first a root element which is nothing but a div tag. Or you can simply add empty tags which is also a root element for the PyJS component. Here I am adding simple empty element tags which is the root element of our component because I am adding more than one element first I'm adding one h1 tag h1 header how to add remove oh, form elements dynamically another h3 element react js tutorials after that I'm adding one horizontal line after the horizontal line, I am adding one input type is equals to text, text with a placeholder attribute, enter some text, enter some text. Then I am adding one another horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I am adding one button element with a label called add controls 
Now before implementing the add and remove functionality, first let's save this file to check the basic output, the default output how it looks on the browser. To run this application, we need to configure our component in our project index.js file. Let's open that one. Notice in the index.js file, there is a default component is, uh, is rendering. Let's delete the app component and add our newly created component dynamically controls as well as we need to add our component in the header section. Let's save this file. Now go to view, click terminal and here we got our terminal which is nothing but a PowerShell and notice the path also D colon which is the folder name. This is a folder name. Inside this folder I have created my project. So let's add my application to this path cd change directory chk mul insert enter and here we got um, the exact path. Now let's write the command called npm start to run our application enter. And here we got the output of our application. Notice the header tags, text box handle, and one button handle. What we'll do is we'll put this thing in the center of the browser, all the elements, switch over to the a component, add a center element, and I'm closing the center element after the button control. Now let's save this file. We'll check the new output again. See, here we got all the elements is in the center now my aim is when a user clicks this add controls i want to increase the text box control i want to add one more text box control dynamically so let's add that functional day in order to create a state in a class component we require a constructor so i'm adding constructor after that we require the super method immediately whenever we had a constructor we must add the super method and now we can able to add our state the state is equals to uh, add text box colon i'm adding arrays now uh, now we require the event also uh, add control controls add controls which is the event name here in this event whenever we want to update or modify the state in class component we use set state hook if you don't know what is set state and use state how to use them in a react.js components I have made a separate video on that. Please check that video. You can find that video in my React.js playlist tutorials. Now let's continue this video. Uh, this dot set state is a method. Inside this method, uh, I'm adding um, between square brackets what we'll do is not the square brackets then curly brackets add text box colon then square brackets curly braces here I'm adding the state I want to update i want to change the state value which is add text box that's it we need to add this control the even name to the button control button on click event is equals to between curly brackets i'm adding the arrow function this dot add controls the method name i have added now after that we require one functionality here because I want to map my state 
to this text box control because we we are looping uh, looping the controls this dot state dot add text box dot map method map method and the map method let's close this one here that's it let's save this file save all we'll check the new output i'm reloading the browser add controls oops something went wrong it's not curly brackets it's just parentheses let's save this file we'll check the output I'm reloading the browser add controls and notice here when I click again the control is not creating it only created once on it if I want to create again it's not working because in our event we need to add three dots here which is nothing but an array whereas three dots is an array so all i'm reloading the browser add controls see let's put some break here In the break i'm adding do element save this file i'm reloading the browser see here we got the new controls are adding dynamically whenever i click the button control the controls are adding now my next step is i want to add a button control which is the remove controls delete controls um, beside the text box control for every text box control i want to create a dynamically a button control so simply add in the button I'm adding X with a strong element strong element str file now let's check the output new output save see here we got the text box control reloading, reloading the browser add controls See here the controls are adding with a text box and a button handle. Now up to now the add controls dynamically is working perfectly. Now my ne next aim is how to remove dynamically. If the user clicks this X button, I want to remove that particular text box element from this uh, browser. So let's add this functionality to remove the controls dynamically it's a very simple in javascript we have a, a splice method with the help of the splice method we can remove an object from an array so let's do that one first uh, del controls which is the delete controls we require i we require one variable which is a starting variable index value um, and after that i'm adding this dot uh, state dot i want to remove the state with a splice splice method splice method notice the splice method and notice the splice method takes two parameters one is the starting number and the second one is the delete con how many i want to remove here i'm deleting only one element so first one is the starting number i comma the delete element i want to only one i want to delete only one element if you add two here it will remove two elements 
but here I'm adding only one I want to remove only one element from an array and after that we need to update the state which is a this dot set state method the same this one I'm adding here the set state and we need to add this del controls the button click event on click event is equals to between curly brackets um, have a function this dot del controls and notice that in the del controls it will taking the object here the object we are passing from here let's add index here also index here also index now here the button click will be in curly brackets here I'm adding a condition if else condition with the help of ternary operator the ternary operator checks the true or false index question mark and column null this is a ternary or uh, operator I'm using here let's save this file save all we'll check the final output let's reload the browser and here we got the final output of our component how to add remove form elements dynamically in a react.js let's click add controls notice here the controls are adding with a text box and one button control if I click see elements are removed I can able to add controls dynamically and remove dynamically in react.js application thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial